My neighbors are getting so jealous. They're getting jealous because they see me having fun. I even said to one of them, why do you have to be jealous? You can come over and feed the iguanas with me. I mean, enjoy this. If you went to like some tropical place, you would pay probably $200 to feed iguanas. What I do is an experience. Actually, I just came up with a good idea. I should do an Airbnb experience, have people come to my house, feed the iguanas on my patio, and I'll put a little gumball machine where you get the food out and all that, and really piss the neighbors off. When Darren Frost moved in, I thought he was a great guy. Now my thoughts have completely changed. He's a nightmare to live by. He's a nightmare to have in the community. Everything you're not supposed to do, he does. I'm just sick of him with the iguanas. It's just feeding them constantly is an absolute nightmare. They used to want no part of people. The moment the door would open to the backyard, they would scatter. Now, they see it as a signal like, oh, I'm gonna eat. Once he comes out and starts feeding them, more come out. My main issues are my dogs. Some of these things are big, like easily five feet. If one of them decided to grab a hold of my dog, they could do some damage. They eat plants, they crap and pee everywhere. My water bill is probably through the roof because I'm power washing my patio every couple of weeks because of this guy. One day I went over and he offered me like a piece of moss. So I'm like, no, what the hell am I gonna do with a piece of moss? That's pretty weird, man. And then he's like, well, I had, I named them. So I'm like, all right, I gotta get out of here. I called him Tarzan. I called him George of the Jungle. I called him Dr. Doolittle, because I guess he, you know, he's the animal whisperer of the community. Lizard man. Just got a little iguana. You know, you kind of hear him sometimes, like talking to these things. Don't go. <laughs> it's kind of disturbing. He has them over like it's a, you know, a happy hour. I have had my dogs poop and pee in his driveway. And I don't care if he sees me or not. He can clean it up, just like I have to clean up the stuff that he's causing. We've come to words, it's gotten heated, it hasn't gotten physical. I mean, it can if he wants to. Just stop what you're doing, just stop. Well, Matthew is joining us from South Florida. You're frustrated with your neighbor here. Yeah, I, I really don't know where else to turn. I've, I've had it with him. Well, last time you saw him, Matthew, you yelled at him, and you guys just don't communicate or get along at all. He and yells you, at me all the time. He can't even walk down the street and see me without yelling something. He comes to He's like Sasquatch coming down. So, what? But, but McGill a gorilla. And then he's like, oh, you, you let your iguana. He's from New York. He got the whole like ghetto thing, New York accent thing going on. And yeah, it's very, like, it's very easy to be tough when I'm in a different time zone. So yeah, we can yeah. see if you want to say that. We can, can see that when you want to see own, me. When you come back, we'll talk about my it. My own time we'll zone. I could have stayed home in my own time zone and yeah. had this going Well, he's okay. calling you Jungle yeah. Boy. You just called him McGill a gorilla. Well, you should see him. He comes out, boom, boom. I see him coming down the street. I don't even want to confront with him, but I'm like, here he goes again. He got, it's like a shoestring. And then this little, like, I don't know what rats had incest in New York, but this thing came out and he's like walking it down the street. I'm like, was that before the iguana got to it or after? I mean. This is his dog? One of them. I mean, there's a few, but this one's like, I mean, I wouldn't even let that thing in my house. And then he's worrying about the iguanas outside. I mean, come on, just. You wouldn't let my dog in your house, but yet you feel you feed wild animals from your mouth. Yes, I do. So what? Yeah. You okay. want to try well, it? See, that's the thing. No, if you... I don't want to try it. I think that's that's half the problem. I think that's the reason why we're here. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.